Well, here we are, January 4th. Got back from the line yesterday. You guys might have watched that video. If not, we caught a bit of fur. So I'm just checking snares here. So the one that was knocked down is knocked down again. But off to the other side, so. It looks like Caillou tracks down there. But if we look over here, boom, we got a coyote. There he is. Not a bad looking coyote. He went, uh, had an anchor there, so he got caught, went around the tree once, came here and laid down. All right, we'll see what else there is for tracks and go from there. Catch you at the next set. Well, here we are at that snare. Um, I picked it up already, but it looks like the snare end stop popped off there. Must have had a coyote come through. Hard to see the tracks now, but pretty sure a coyote came through here. A little bit of evidence back there. And uh, they were using that trail, kind of blocked it off a little bit. And yeah, one got lucky, I guess. I'll change out this snare and replace it. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucks the first one of the year to pull out like that. All right, well, that's trapping. It wasn't the breakaway that gave away, so it had to be the end stop. Missing my spring, so I'll reset this. I got one more snare to check in here. Uh, the bait hasn't been really touched too much, and I see Martin tracks in here, so I think I have a Martin box in the back of the truck. I'll throw that in here and hopefully pick him up. Catch you the next set. Uh, there we go. I just reset it, so... Hopefully he uh, comes back through. And I didn't have a Martin box with me, so I'll bring one out next time I come. And uh, hopefully get him. But, uh, got this pretty much the heavy trails covered. There's one more uh, trail for them to come in on. But I like to... Uh, let them have one trail and then they feel comfortable and they start coming in and moving on to the other ones. Don't need to cover every trail and spook them all. But let this go on for another week or so. Come back in a couple days and I'll see what's going on. And in another week I might end up shutting her down here. Alright, see you at the next set. Well, I'm not having very good luck today. Looks like I had my first chew out of the year there. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah. Nice trail set, not too much disturbance there and I'm not sure what happened. I'm gonna look around and see if maybe it's down here somewhere and see where where it came from. Just a skiff of snow on top here, so there's no tracks coming this way, so it must have come from the other side. I'll go check my snares over there to see if I decided to use one of those trails. But yeah, not not good. Did everything right and uh, yeah, solid anchor, all that stuff. Anchored high. There's a little tuff of fur here it was carrying, so maybe that's part of the, the issue. And yeah, not sure. Catch you at the next set. Caught a raven in a power round, but it didn't set it off. Just had the snare around it. So we, I threw my coat over it, caught it there, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not too happy, but I'm gonna let it go, and I'll watch it here. It's getting ready to jump already. Turn so you can see. Well, I just thought I'd take uh, halfway through the se season photo. Got some coyotes put up there. 
a couple of Martin, some Fisher, some Lynx. Uh, no wolves yet so far. Father in law caught one. I uh, still have about 20 some coyotes to skin and a couple of Martin and and Lynx, but yeah, not bad catch so far. Decided to go a little harder on the coyotes this year. And there's still probably about another 20 to go. Mind you, most of those I did buy. I'm a licensed fur buyer, but the ones up on the wall here are done for me for for uh, the auction. And yeah, a beaver there. A couple of beaver we got this fall for bait. Uh, the rest of the pelts are in the freezer for me to skin later. And yeah, not a bad haul so far. Well, uh, catch you later.